Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Our video blog this week, we have a serious issue facing our city. It's the housing crisis. We're gonna talk about housing affordability and particularly with Ottawa Community Housing. It's the largest landlord in our city. I happen to be chair of the board and today we're meeting with the CEO, Stefan. I'm Stefan Jiguer, I'm the CEO of Ottawa Community Housing. Ottawa Community Housing is the largest landlord in Ottawa with more than 32,000 residents, 15,000 homes across the city. Uh, it's important to recognize it's our 20th anniversary and we started from 7,000 homes at the beginning and to today more than 15,000 and uh, our commitment is to make more affordable homes available in Ottawa. For OCH, uh, the last 20 years were about really fix and repair. There were no new money, uh, no new uh, programs, and clearly that was very challenging. And for us, it was in the last four to five years that with the leadership of our board and uh, the uh, partnership that we have built with the city of Ottawa, really to start looking at building more and scaling and ensuring that we can really achieve the goals of the city, but also strive to the goals of our own corporation, which is about 10,000 units over the next 10 to 15 years. This is a new project of Ottawa Community Housing called Mosaic. It's 114 new homes. We talk about a, a mixed use property and community where you have seniors and families and apartments with up to four bedrooms. Unique in Ottawa because you can appreciate that what is built right now is you know single bedrooms or two bedrooms apartment. And us, we go up to six and here in this case, four. Right now, as we are speaking, we have 911 uh, house in the making. We're talking about, you know, from conceptual design to really uh, getting shoveled ready. Uh, and some are under construction at Mekanak. Uh, 271 homes will very soon be available to new residents, so we are very excited. After Mekanak, uh, we're looking at the phase two of this beautiful site just across the street. And as well, we're looking at communities like Overbrook, uh, Foster farm in the West End and also more and more opportunities for public land to build on the capacity that the city has to offer. Being a builder of choice, it's offering to the sector the capacity that Ottawa Community Housing has. Uh, we have the financial strength to be able to negotiate with uh, the largest lenders in Canada uh, to establish uh, the professional profile that it requires to support any debt, any financing, but also to be the partner of choice to the sector, uh, to be there for the, the other agencies that might not have uh, the, all the financial resources but at the same time leveraging what OCH could offer. What is important is about the service that you deliver, uh, what we call you know, the standards. We went from best effort you know, decades ago to really professionally addressing all of the maintenance, safety requirement of our residents. And the second fold is really about the well-being of the residents, making sure that they have access to the resources for employment, mental health, addiction, but as well resources for education. So it's important to recognize that those two elements are the key to our success and how we have been able to achieve it by professionalizing uh, all of the functions of Ottawa Community Housing. There's a waiting list in Ottawa and the needs are greater than what uh, right now uh, the entire sector can offer. From design to uh, turning the key on the doorknob, it takes usually about three to four years. Our goal is to go down to two and it's important that we all work together. Affordability and housing are on everyone's minds these days. It's reassuring to see that our public landlord, Ottawa Community Housing, is in position to build 10,000 new units over the next 10 years. What you see behind me are the 271 units at Mikinak that Stefan was talking about. It's under construction. We have to remain focused. We have to keep on intentions to make sure we deliver on the housing affordability need and OCH is part of the solution.